Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to do a Louis Vuitton unboxing. Yes, that's right. I ordered a Neverfull GM, which I'm so excited about because I also have a wonderful Louis Vuitton bag already. It is the Speedy 30 and here it is. Absolutely beautiful. I love this. If you'd like to see a review on this bag, then let me know in the comments below. My sister had gotten a Louis Vuitton bag about maybe about six or nine months ago in Las Vegas when she was there and it was absolutely beautiful. So I started kind of watching videos about it. So I ended up getting hooked on the idea of Louis Vuitton and recently I got a large bonus at work and my husband and I discussed it and my husband said well this is unexpected money and we really haven't earmarked it for anything so go ahead and indulge yourself and get some Louis Vuitton so I did I got some purses and also some leather goods and again if you'd like to learn more about that just put it in the comments below I'd love to do some more videos for you on this but before I get into the unboxing this is a beauty channel and I had ordered a few products from Octoli that I needed to do a quick review on and I actually have three products two of which I really liked and one of which I don't like the first product is this big sexy hair powder play and I absolutely love this product in fact this is my old powder play I've gone through maybe three or four of these already I love this product and so when I saw it in Octoli and I needed some because this one's almost gone I thought hey that will kill two birds with one stone I know I love this product and can recommend it wholeheartedly and through ordering it I would also get a free powder play so I kind of had two advantages on this and I will tell you that I used it this morning. I'm not going to put it back in my hair, but basically if you want a little extra poof to your hair, a little extra oomph, this Powder Play and also Powder Play Light are wonderful products. You just sort of like, I tease my hair just a little bit. I sprinkle that in there. It's an odd kind of powder that turns immediately to sort of a, a creamy feel. It's odd. And then you kind of bush it around in your hair. I don't know if bush is a word. And then you just kind of comb out over it and it gives you a little bit more body, a little bit more oomph love this product. And the second product that I ordered, I'm really rather surprised that I liked because I tend to think beauty tools like an eyelash curler, one is like the other. But this is the Kevin Aquan eyelash curler and I love Kevin Aquan. In fact, I absolutely love his highlight and contour palette. I've used this in many videos. Absolutely fabulous makeup. And I have found that I really like his eyelash curler. And this morning I did a little test for you. This was my standard eyelash curler and I think this is a tweezer man. It doesn't seem to have the words on it. I'm not totally sure but it's really gucky and I've used it for a long time. I use this eyelash curler on this eye right here and then I use the Kevin Aquan here and I don't know if you can tell but this eye is much more uniform looking. It almost looks a little bit like those ads where you'll see just a big sweep of lashes. I curled both lashes twice with these devices and this just gave me more curl. I don't know if you can see that, but to me this is a game changer in terms of eyelashes and I'm going to keep using this and this baby is going to the trash can. Now my third beauty product, unfortunately I didn't like, it is this YSL Tint in Balm lipstick. And you know, it wasn't that I didn't like it and if you're into spending a bunch of money on lipsticks then you know, go for it. I think it was a very nice creamy formula, but to me it was nothing different than you would get like in an All May product because they have these All May products that are kind of like moisture lip balms that are a little bit tinted. So I won't ruin my lipstick, I won't put it on for you, but I'll just do a little swatch here. That's kind of how it looks, but actually on the swatch here on my hand, it looks a lot more red. When I put it on my lips, it almost just looked like, you know, a very nice clear lip balm. It really didn't have this color on my lips. It just gave my lips just the tiniest bit of color and it did feel very moisturizing. So if you're into YSL lipsticks and into paying a little more, then, you know, this might be good for you. But for me personally, whenever I find a high-end product and there's a lower-end product that I can save some money on, I always want to go for that product. Okay, let's get into the unboxing. I can hardly wait for this part because I've actually had this package for a week. It's been in my closet and I haven't had time to make the video with all the Nordstrom sales going on. So I have been waiting to open it for you because I wanna be honest and show you my, my first impressions, my real impressions of the unboxing. This thing is big. Oh my, wow, that's nice. I, I love these boxes, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I love the little blue bow and the little note from Louis Vuitton. Let's see if it really has anything in it. I did another one of these unboxings a couple of days ago and this note had nothing in it, so we'll see. Uh, nothing. Oh, I guess that's so you can make it a gift. Well, isn't that nice? They give you a little gift card. Okay, let's go ahead and take off the blue bow. I like it that they give you the bows and I keep the box and I keep the bow because, oh, look, it's kind of a 
The box is a little bit dented. I hate that. Oh well, you know it's the way it goes. Life isn't perfect. And it is only a box. Oh my, it really did get dented. Let's hope the purse is not dented. Okay, here we go. Oh, I had to make sure that I had the receipt in there because it's really important with these high-end purses to keep the receipts just to make sure that it's absolutely authentic, which of course it is because I ordered it right from Louis Vuitton. Yes, I do have the receipt purchased July 7th, 2018. Okay, this is that beautiful bag. Let's go ahead and get into it. Oh my, this is large. Okay, here we go. Oh my. Oh, it's just beautiful. I love it. And it's, it's clipped on the top here. Oh, it's got a nice little clip there. Here is one side, and here is the other. I think they're exactly the same. Yes, they're exactly the same. And it has beautiful brass hardware and these pretty brown straps. And I got this bag in the Damier print because since it's a tote bag, it's going to take some kind of intense use. And in the monogram style, it comes with that tan, unfinished leather. It's called the Vachetta, is what it's called. And it can get water spots on it and that kind of thing. So this brown, dark leather is much more durable than the monogram with the Vachetta straps. I had to scoot back so you can see this. And this is the inside. And oh my gosh, I forgot that it had this. Oh my, I'm so excited. I completely forgot that it comes with this little envelope pouch on the inside. Oh my, I will love that. And the envelope pouch has a couple of little compartments in there and it has that absolutely beautiful red and black striped interior. And let's take a look at that. And there you see the Louis Vuitton. Oh my, that's beautiful. And this zipper, oh my, that just works like better. That's so exciting. And I know that I will keep some things in there. And then it has the little brass clip here if you want to close it, which is very nice. And then it has a feature which I really like, which makes it very versatile. And that is that you can use it like a tote bag like this, or you can pull in the sides with these little straps here and make it smaller. And I'll show you how that works. It's a little bit hard to do the first time because the canvas is very, very stiff at this point. Apparently it softens up over time. So there you see one side of it brought in, and I'll do the other side. And you just have to kind of envelope it a little bit on the sides. It is very stiff. Here we go. I need Allie to come and help me do this. And then you just pull it up on the sides. Okay, and then you just pull it up on that side. Okay, there we go. So that's how it looks when it's made a little more compact. That's a little more like a handbag look as opposed to a tote bag. So I really think I will use this and I appreciate that versatility. Now I'm going to do a little modeling show and show you how it looks on but there it is with the sides brought in. Oh my, I really, really like that. That is really, really cute. And there it is in the front there. There it is on the other side. <laughs> wow, I love that. Okay, now I'm gonna pull out the sides and we'll see how it looks as a tote bag. Here we go. There we go. Oh my, I love that. I love big purses. I absolutely love big purses. And I will wear this actually as a purse. I know I will. Because it's kind of casual, and I think I'll get a lot of use out of that. Oh my, I love that. Now here's the Neverfull, and I'm going to compare that with the Speedy 30 to give you an idea of the difference in size. And after I wear these both for about a month, if you'd like a video comparing these two styles, I would be glad to do that for you. And there is a look at the Neverfull, which is a nice casual look. And that compares with the Speedy 30, which is a smaller bag, but it looks more like a traditional bag versus a tote bag. I'm kind of interested to see, after wearing these both for a while, which one I prefer. I'm probably a little more of a formal person, and I love this bag. So it could end up that the Speedy wins, but this looks awfully convenient in terms of having a lot of room in there. So anyway, that's how they look. And again, let me know if you'd like me to do a comparison video. Okay, that was a look at my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I'm so excited to have this bag. I have really wanted one of these for a long, long time, so it will be really fun to kind of incorporate it into my life. And if you're not a subscriber and would like to learn more about anti-aging, yeah, that's right, I don't do very many videos on purses. I do a few of them, though. But if you'd like to see those and all my future videos, just click that little bell. That just sends you email notifications of my future videos. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I'm using these Power Thoughts cards from Louise Hay. Let's see what Power Thoughts we can think about for today. Here we go. Woo! I trust my inner wisdom. 
I trust my inner wisdom. As I go about my daily affairs, I listen to my own guidance. My intuition is always on my side. I trust it to be there at all times. I am safe. Ladies, I need this card very much today. I really need to call on my inner guidance and my inner wisdom, and all of us really need to do that because, you know, inside we know the right path to take. Our intuition truly is our guide, and if we listen to it, our intuition can be on our side and help us chart the right course to have a wonderful second half. Take care. See you next time.